Hey, this is Jeremy from Production Den. So glad to have you here with me on the channel today. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a secret weapon for vocal mixing inside of FL Studio. I don't know about you, but it can be really frustrating trying to figure out how to get a very clean and crisp vocal mix in your songs. And one of the things that I've been experimenting here with lately is a native plugin in FL Studio that lets you do a little bit of EQ and a little bit of compression at the same time. And I've also been working with a third party plugin that gives just a little bit extra to the vocal as well. So I'll show you how I use both of those plugins together to try to create a very clear and crisp vocal mix. Let's jump in. So in the last few videos, we went over doing some basic compression and basic EQ on a vocal. And this week I'm actually going to be using uh, Maximus as a both compression and EQ on this lead vocal. And I'm gonna show you I'm, something that I've been messing with and trying here for the past little while. And I wanted to share with you what I'm doing to see if it's something that might benefit you as well. The main vocal is listed under this track 18. And right now we have the parametric EQ that we had already done and then the fruity limiter which we're using as a compressor that we'd done the previous week. So underneath of that, we're gonna load up an instance of Maximus. So this is what Maximus looks like in its default state. And so you have, it may come up in this band view or it may come up in the monitor view. But basically you're gonna have these three different bands. You're gonna have low, mid, and high. And this area over here is where you're gonna be working with the compression part of this plugin. And then over here in the bands is where you're gonna be actually boosting levels for each of the bands. And this is partially EQ that you're doing with that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to listen to the vocal as it is now, and then we're gonna start adding in some volume in some of the different bands. So some of the low and some of the high and maybe a little bit of the mid and get it to a level that we like with the rest of the instruments in the mix and then we will move over to working on the compression in each of those bands. So let's play through a little section of the track. Let's play through a verse because we listened to the chorus a lot this last time. All right, so that's the vocal as it stands right now. And now we're going to start adjusting with Maximus. So I'm gonna go back over to this bands section and I'm going to start raising up uh, each of the bands a little bit. So I like the level that everything is at now as far as just the volume situation. So now we're gonna switch back over to monitor. So it's gonna show us the waveform that's coming through the plugin. And then we're gonna actually go in and dial in the compression on each one of those bands. So I'm gonna start out with the high band because that's a lot of where these uh, T's and S's like plosives and things that cause a lot of things that are irritating to the ear. So let's start working through that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna watch where this signal is peaking around in this area. And then you're actually gonna drag, there's a line that goes from top to bottom here. And that's, you can kinda, it'll click to it and snap to it, but you wanna make sure that you kinda stay on the line and you're, you're basically adjusting the threshold with this. And then you're adjusting where the compression is gonna kick in as far as up here on this side, you're saying, okay, at this point, I want it to kick in with the compression here. And then you can actually adjust the curve for how much compression, so more or less, depending on how you have that set. So I'll kind of eyeball it as we first get into it. 
as it's going along and then I'll start adjusting the, the compression and I'll watch up here because it'll show you how much compression is, is getting applied to it as well. So then I'm going to move over to the mid band and do the same thing. And then we'll look at the low. We probably won't be doing much on the low because we've scooped out a lot of that already. So now that I work through a little bit of adding uh, some more compression just in the mids and the highs, I'm actually gonna go back in with a free plugin called OTT and add a little bit extra into the vocal that will give it a little bit more grit and a little more presence in the mix. So I'm gonna load up OTT and I'll show you at 100%, it's gonna sound fairly horrible. And then I'll dial it back and kind of dial in the tone a little bit. So this is at 100%. So here's without the OTT. Now with it. So you can see it just adds a little bit more presence and a little bit more of that top end back into it. Just makes it sound a little bit more full. So listen to that vocal again, just in the chorus section, and you'll hear how much of a difference that's made. A lot of it's just the volume that we've put into it, but then actually adjusting certain portions of the tone has actually helped a lot as well. So it's a lot more present in the mix, a little bit higher up in the mix. So here's before. And then here is with both Maximus and OTT engaged on it. Did she get this way? Can she ever escape? Oh, I never told you that. Well guys, I hope it was helpful to be able to see how I use two plugins to get a very clear and crisp vocal mix inside of my song productions. If you have any questions about what I did today, please leave those in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we post a new video. And I will see you in the next round.